Good morning. We have Angela Williams joining us. She is helping out with the Fort Valley Juneteenth Festival. Yes. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you for being here. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. Of course. And this is a really big year. Two parts to the Juneteenth Festival happening in Fort Valley. So I want to talk about part one, which is going to be this Friday in Montezuma. What's going on? Okay. On Friday in Montezuma at Flint River School Park, we're having our annual food drive. This is our fourth time doing this food drive. We provide food for 200 families. It's open to the public. They're welcome to come out. When they come through, it's like a drive through. We have the boxes already partnered, um, prepared for us. And then we also, we are partnering with Latter-day Saints this year. And so we are very thankful because this is our way of giving back to the community. A lot of seniors come through and it's just a blessing to be able to help them because this is an agriculture town and a lot of them are older and they really don't have the income that they used to have. So even even through the year, they call us Legacy Group Development, and we provide whatever they need when we get the call. It's about giving back. That's right, and it is a lot of giving back. This event, again, is Friday from 11 to 3, right? Yes, it's from 11 to 3. All right, and then Saturday is the Juneteenth celebration, also yes. 11 to 3. Yes. Lots going on Saturday. What's going on? Okay, on Saturday at the Hunt Educational and Cultural Center in the park from 11 to 3, we're going to open up. We have the medical part. We'll have the fire department. We'll be giving the blood pressure. Then we have the core department. They will be giving out the vaccine. We have the five point pharmacy. They will be also giving out the vaccine. Then we have the Red Cross that's gonna be there for the blood drive. And we're doing this because we don't have a hospital in Fort Valley. We have a way that a lot of the seniors that don't have transportation, they can come out and get their health needs taken care of. And during that time, we're also going to have the A-plus Academy. Uh, students that have done very well in school, they're going to be playing the keyboard. Then we're going to have plenty of vendors, plenty of food. And the first 200 people, a lot of surprises for them. Food, prizes, and giveaways. And we're missing something, Miss Angela. Come on, yeah. what's happening at 2 o'clock? Okay, at 2 <laughs> o'clock, we have the Gospel Fest will be going on. Gary Swindell Jr. will be there. We also have Renata Baham going to be there. And then we're going to have Rosemary Woods that's also going to be performing. So please come out, have fun, inflatable for the kids, mechanical bulls, uh, bubbles for the kids. It's just a lot going to be going on. And we're hoping on that day we have enough kids to participate in the May Day, platinum the Maypole. Then also at one o'clock, we're going to have the sign revealing. We're going to rename the park to Ricky Jackson. And so he has done great work in the community. He is making a big difference with the gym, with the recreation, and he's done a lot of work in the park. So we are very thankful for him. All right, very so thankful. It sounds like it's going to be an incredible weekend in yes. Fort Valley events on Friday and Saturday. We will have all those details on our website. They're on your screen right now, but they'll be on our website, 41NBC.com. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you.